You know how people say miles per hour when they talk about how fast a car goes? That's the clue to the math for calculating the speed. Miles per hour, kilometers per hour, meters per second. These are all units for speed. The thing that they all have in common is that the distance is being divided by time. And that's because time is on the bottom. It's the denominator of the fraction. So it's the independent variable. This could make sense because you cover a distance in a time. And in or per in math means divided by. It also means that the time is the independent variable. And distance is dependent on how much time went by. Another way to look at it is that time just passes by at its own rate without you affecting it. But the distance you go in some time is what you can change, not the time. So, when you graph distance versus time, the time is always on the x-axis. That's where the independent variable always goes. And that's because what you want to see changed is going up and down on the graph, distance. So let's say that you want to graph something moving and it starts at zero and then goes three meters in two seconds. Then it slows to one meter in four seconds. Then it stops for three whole seconds. Then it speeds up to 6 meters in one second. Each new speed just connects straight to the last one. This type of graph is called linear since it's a straight line, though the slope changes with each change of speed. So let's have a look at the slopes. First, 3 meters in 2 seconds, so that's the slope of 3 over 2. Then it slows to 1 meter and 4 seconds, so that's a slope of 1 fourth. Then it stops for 3 seconds, so that's 0 thirds. Then 6 over 1, 